Everyone thought this wasn't gonna drive. So I drove it to see if it worked. I was literally taking off on my first trip and I was like hopping on the freeway and I was like, I don't even know if this camper is just gonna like fly off into midair and I spent three months building it. My name is Ryder Englund. I am a craftsman, a creative, and I help run a nonprofit. And I have a 1982 Toyota pickup with a custom camper on the back. I'm an avid surfer. I enjoy it. It's kind of my meditation. It's my workout. It's my fun. It's a lot of my social life too. A lot of athletes and people I really look up to in life just happen to live in this one little town. And I was like, what's the draw to this place? I don't understand. It's just one little exit called Birmingham Road. And it's just a little sign that says Cardiff by the sea, your next exit. And then it just opens up to this like one mile by one mile little block with amazing surf, great sunshine. There's plenty of things to do. And it's kind of sleepy. I like sleepy towns. I built this camper with a little different intentions. Usually you build a camper and you're ready to go hit the road and go see the country. Yeah, I built this so I could live outside of my own house. I rented out my room. This is now like my room slash home. It's able to take on road trips, but I bought it with the intention of having affordable rent. I built it myself, it's mine. It's exactly what I want. It's exactly how I wanted it to be. And you know, if you can't buy it, build it. My dad's a huge influence on me. There was nothing he couldn't do. Screw it through my back piece, and then I'll just mount everything to that. If I was like, hey dad, I want to create like a skateboard scooter with whatever, you know, like, like, all right, let's do it. You know, and it was like, it was this mastermind. This was kind of a representation of like, having a vision and seeing it come forth. I've thought about this through five different rigs, through, you know, like, five different styles. It's the first time that I've had just a piece of air turn into a home, if that makes sense. Like there was nothing there before. I loved making it look as custom as possible on the inside, but I wanted to be able to visually express myself on the outside as well. I've had like four or five different people say like, I've never been in anything that's like so you. This is like my little nook. I purposely like set it down from the rest of the table, A, so I can sit in it with a chair, but also just like put myself in the zone. It can lift up and go into like extra counter space. It's just a little wiggle game, you know, get it right. And voila. This is like my top kind of storage zone, the most accessible. This whole part is going to be complementing the kitchen zone. And this whole part is gonna be complementing the desk zone. So I've got like my little library, 75% of the, 80% of those books I've never finished. This is Himalayan pink salt, gives you superpowers. And uh, this is my homemade hot sauce, real spicy, muy caliente. You know, right now I've got a lot in the fridge. I got a uh, garbanzo beans and chicken flavor. It's good for you. <laughs> never had ramen like that in like six years, but it's like that kind of emergency like, yeah, you, know, you could literally eat it dry if you need to, you know. I've like been saving these little trinkets and things for I don't know what, and now I do. They like have use. I have a cooler from Puerto Rico that's like from like 1985, and I like turned it into a sink. I have this as a cutting board most of the time. When I'm not doing that, I'm in more of the dish zone. Put this down here. I have a charcoal filter, which filters all the water. The water in San Diego is not the best. So it kind of improves the taste and gets the chlorine and stuff out of there. I got a Camp Chef. It's got a two burner stove in it. And then a little oven as well. Space where people feel free to hang out. What I don't like about a lot of campers is that like you have to like squeeze by people and stuff like that. I want it to be like free flowing kind of ease the eye in a certain way. So yeah, this is kind of where I get ready for my day, you know, put on your thing, make sure you don't look like a piece of garbage, give yourself a little mirror time affirmations, say hello. I like the mirror, it's round, it actually makes spaces look like bigger. I went with like a slight nautical theme, kind of nautical ocean barn, 
rustic forest is what I'm going for. No one really knows how to focus it, myself included. You just gotta give yourself a little. There you go, uh, now I see you guys. How are you guys doing? And then I have a severe problem with collections of old suitcases. This one's gone through a few flights in its day, so you know, it's kind of seen its day. I keep all my clothes in here. You obviously gotta downsize a lot when you move into one of these things. Gathered all my hats through my travels. I don't even know how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like 18 or so. So this is now my hat zone. When it comes to cooling things, I didn't want to do a fridge. It draws way too much power. Just doesn't make a lot of sense. It also serves as my stepping stone up to my good old bed here. So a little hop, hop, and you're good to go. Biggest pro is being able to stand. I got to build this to my exact dimensions. What feels comfortable above my head. I wanted a queen size bed and I didn't want it to take up my living space. And this is all the cab and over the cab of the truck. So I actually put some bracing bars on the front of the truck so it can hold the entire queen size bed and the bonus storage. I loved AstroTurf, it looks nice, it's comfortable. It absorbs all the sand that I spill everywhere in my life. What feels better than a little, you know, turf buggy in there? I really wanted a Dutch style door. And if you guys don't know what that is, this is what a Dutch door is. Voila. I needed a way to walk up and down out of the camper from there. So what I ended up doing is building this crazy staircase. And all I do is just pull this up through. And then voila, just like that. I installed a little mailbox. What I actually want to do with it is put a bunch of surf wax in. So when I go surfing, like the community kind of knows it's in there. So I can kind of just be my little contribution to society. And I got some porch lights here as well for when it does get dark and you can travel around, they're LEDs, so they'll last a whole long time. When you're in rural areas and you don't want to get out of your car and blow up your spot, you can kind of just stay in and just crawl on through, just like so, you know? <laughs> I would describe this camper as the little truck that could, but it's like a Pokemon, you know? It's kind of just evolved its way through its life. It's at its final phase. It's Charizarding. Everyone told me this was a horrible idea and like, it was the best idea ever. You know, like I've loved every single part of it. And even still, people are like, that truck's not gonna carry that. And I'm like, we'll see you later. And I'll like, butt away, you know? <laughs>